Okay, so that was it. I guess they've decided now that they don't want to get across the four high fall. And instead, they wanted to bash through here until now there's only three fall. And now, why are they going all the way over there? And I bid you welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a good week with many new properties being for sale. It's almost as if there are more houses than people, yet far less than there are zombies. Go figure. Well, we're going to take a look at this outdoor play area. Not quite a house, not quite a base, but more of a circle of fun. Even though it's not quite a circle, but who's counting after all? Look at the colors, the craftsmanship, the ingenuity of building it. We call it the melee circle base. Quite unimaginative, but the deadbeats around here can't quite grasp the finer points of marketing. We shall start with a quick base tour of this little playground, how it works, how it's built, but there is a speed build which will be coming out in a few days if that's your fancy. I'm gonna go over the defenses, uh, how everything works, how it's put together, and hopefully it works. In uh, previous weeks I presented a quite a large melee base based on pillars and ramps, but this time I wanted to put together something that is a lot smaller, using a lot less resources. So instead of using pillars and ramps for them to fall through and sort out so we only face a few, we use barbed wire to slow them down and obviously pull so we can bash through them. This means you have to be active to whittle down their numbers, else they will surely overwhelm you. Well, probably not, hopefully not. The aim is for them to fall down at the end and uh, not make it over, hopefully. Uh, after that we're going to proceed to try it against some zombies and more zombies and also dive into a small blood wound horde before we start maxing the blood wound horde for the game stage and maxing the game stage and 64 zombies just to see how it holds up towards sort of late game. I don't think it's going to hold up very well because it's not intended for that but at least we'll try it out. But let's get started here. Right, let me fly here just to show it so there are no zombies coming. So we have the entrance here. And if you look closer, you'll see that there are barbed wire. It's three wide. Over to here is two wide, and there I got stuck. And it winds its way here around the circle. And here there's a four gap, which hopefully the zombies will try to get across and won't. They'll fall down here. Once they are down here, they will get have to walk through the corridor. They'll come up here again, and they'll repeat again and go around and around. That's the basic premise of it. And... Um, we are using barbed wire to slow them down so that they don't just run past. We want them to go slow so we can just stand here and bash them. Nice, so we can stand here if we have a sledgehammer, we can just whack them as well. And uh, at the end, they should be coming here, falling down. And if we want to, we can always just pop them a little bit. Of course, we can do that throughout the whole thing as well. But the aim is to melee them here. So it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty simple and straightforward layout. Of course, look at the nice, glorious, um, green, concrete, splotchy. I don't know why the colors in Alpha 17 are so terrible. It's like you can't get a solid color. If I was going to paint this, why would I paint it like so crappy? At least look at this. Look at this splotchy green. I mean, it doesn't make any sense if I was going to paint it. I would paint a nice, uniform color. I mean, the base concrete looks good because it's pretty uniform. But look at this, that's terrible. Even look at the yellow, it's like this scratched off. Same with the red. <sighs> I don't know why they did that. They remove all the nice colors that we had and then this is what we're left with. Oh, actually, not all of them. If you look at the purple, it's nice. Look at the granite, it's pretty good. But then you have the red and everything, and yellow, and it's terrible. Terrible! Mad Mold, Fun Pimps, fixes. Give us some nice new colors. I thought you had no limits for the textures now, so can you at least give us back the old textures and then add on new ones? Shouldn't hurt, right? Okay, so let me do this. Let's uh, start by spawning in uh, just a couple of zombies here. Let's do this. Let's do zombie. Um, I'll leave by the bow. Yes. All right. And they decide to just back. Okay, that's not quite intended. Let's try that again. Yeah. 
So, on behalf of Edui Realty Incorporated, I would like to apologize for this uh, unfortunate inconvenience. Is he crawling in the... Okay. It looks like they still haven't fixed the poles. These poles are not detected by the zombies still. They still think there's nothing there, so they walk up to them and they try to bash them. So we have... Uh, Done some minor changes here. We've gone back to using the centered pole because those ones definitely do work. Okay, like we see here. Come on. Right. Uh, let's uh, go into and see if we can get spawn something here. But he's probably gonna. Yeah, he... yes. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for showing off. Yes. Uh, so this is how it's gonna look. They'll come here. They'll walk here. And. Yeah, I see. Uh, is he gonna come down here? Okay. Where is he gonna go? No. Yeah, okay, so now he's coming here. Perfect. And bash. Right. Oh, we have more people coming here. Nice. Let's see if we can spawn in some more friends here. Zombie! And look at me. Let's get some fair one. Okay. All right, see they come here. Yep, see who's gonna be first, who's gonna be first. Yep, coming, coming, coming. And, and I guess he's gonna try, I have no idea. Wait, the, where the frick is that one going? Okay. No, that's simply, no, that, that can't be the best way in. That can't be the best way in either. Uh, see these zombies? These zombies don't know where they're going. Alright. So let's do this then. Let's um... They don't know what they want to do. They really don't know what they don't do. Let's we'll see if we remove this one then. No. It's like they've gone bonkers. Okay. Okay. So that was it. I guess they've decided now that they don't want to get across the four high fall. And instead they wanted to bash through here. Until. Now there's only three fall. And now. Why are they going all the way over there? Okay, so the zombie AI is totally nuts. Why is he going all the way? Like, what the? Is a pig here as well? It's like, yeah, no, this is the best way. Let's go all the way around here. All right, come on. Come on, friends. You are uh, causing some problems here with the demonstration. Oh, not this one. Let's, um... Okay. No. Okay, so... He still doesn't want to jump there. I wonder if they still don't see these ones. Right, this is not intended at all. This is a total disaster. What's happening? What's happening, people? Okay, let's get this one switched over. Then. This was not at all intended. Now they don't want to go through here at all. Alright, uh, we are back once again with further changes to the base. Uh, I love how these blocks work so inconsistently. And he's still out there, that porker. So, what I had to do here, I had to change this wall into a solid block, like bulletproof class, so we can see. Because otherwise they decide, no, I don't care, I'm going to get through here, I don't care. But now, with this one here, everything should be good. Cross your fingers, otherwise uh, I'm definitely going to fire my designer here. So let's get a zombie in here. Let's get an Arlene, yes. Um... You know what I mean, yes. 
See, she's gonna come here and. All right, come here. And. Uh, and she keeps running here. And now she tries to run out. If I'm up here, she will run back. They have a really funny, peculiar uh, pathing now. As you can see, now she's like, hey, I'm coming here. Let's see, we get this one. Let's get over here. And they should be running along the corridor. And what started out as fairly simple turned out to be not very simple. So what I had to do... I made some uh, quick changes and the architect is gonna get fired if it doesn't work. No, I think it will. So I made this one three. It seems like this might be an issue. I also changed this pole into a solid uh, block, which is the bulletproof glass that will keep them from trying to path through. They seem to do that with the poles. They decide that there's nothing there and try to get through. These poles, both of them, I've changed out to the center one just to keep them from pathing through here as well. Uh, this one I left as it is for now, and that seems to work better. There are some small downside, but let's uh, get in some zombies here. All right, so let's get in some zombie. Let's do this, son, and let's get all in a bike. Okay. All right. So now they decide they are going to go through around there again. Oh, come on. Yes, I'm here. Yes, this is the best way. I think because this one has been changed, so they decide that they would get through. All right, I'm here. This is a quicker way for them through. And now they still decide. To... And we're finally, finally ready for demonstration. Phew, this has been tough. All these changes in the AI, I think they've balanced things out and making it more difficult. So, what have I done? I've uh, made this one only three wide, just to uh, increase the likelihood of them wanting to get across. I've also made a small ramp up here as opposed to the longer one. For some reason, they did not like to go all the way around. They would have said, decided, no, I'm just going to tunnel under. Not good. So I made this small little ramp. Uh, I also changed out uh, this pole wall for... Solid blocks, in this case, uh, bulletproof glass. The poles that I used to have, these edge poles, I've changed to the normal ones that are in the... Can I get some zombies here? Uh, that are just uh, so the centered one. So I've put them all around here. And I've taken out the bar wire from the sides outside as well. That also seemed to be interfering with their pathing. Maybe they decided that the bar wire was really an obstruction. Of course, they're really smart. For some reason, um, so they figure that now nah, I don't want to go there, refuse, and then they start to do other weird things. There is some really peculiar thing where they decide to path like all the way out there before they come back. I'm not sure whether this location is bugged in any way, but no, let's test it out again. Zombie, let's get some. Uh... Okay, come on here. All right, so now they should be happily moving here along. And uh, if I go too close, they do decide that they want to have a piece of me. But if I'm just uh, sort of over here, if I go here, they're like, yep, yep, and I can beat him. So you have to be careful. You have to go up and whack them. And he is on fire. And then you pull back a little bit. And then you can go back and bam. So you have to time it a little bit. If I was going to redo this one, I might have decided just to put everything on the same uh, same size here. Alright, so he's slowly moving his way through. Uh, let's get something a bit more fast. Let's get a... Okay, let's see if they're going to walk around a little bit. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, of course. And here they come. These are a little bit faster. And see they come here. And now they try to come here and bam. Bam. Whacker. Oh yeah. Come on. 
Let's whack that one as well. All right, now they decide they want to get back. Their AI is really funny with how they run. Now they want to go back. It's the best way to, apparently. And now that he's dead, they're like, no, 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 fine. Leader's gone. Uh, let's get past here again. And now... I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what the AI is doing here. If I just stand still, what happens here? Now he decides he's, he wants that one. Oh yeah, because... I think it's because I didn't change this one out. So let's do that on the fly. Okay. Say so it's still these these poles I think that are causing problems. For some reason the AI doesn't quite detect them and uh, weird stuff happens. So let's take these ones out as well. See if that resolves the really weird behavior. And uh, probably these ones as well. Bam. Yes, we don't want you. Let's do... Oh, this might be an issue then. Um, okay, that might be a problem. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Improvising here. As because I cannot make them there, then they'll just walk along the edge. But if we do this, it might be enough to get them to attack properly. All right, let's try this and let's uh, let's block off this one as well. Do, oh, let's, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Let's do a dual layer one here. Bam, bam. Is he come here? Yeah, I guess he is. All right. Nope, this way. All right. So this one is broken. That's all right. Let's uh, fix this one here as well. Since we're... All right. Okay. Now they are... Uh, who knows what they're doing? I wonder if they know what they're doing. All right. So we want to get them around. Let's see what happens here. Let's get in a bow feral here. Come on. Yes. You know where I am. Yes. Okay. No. Yep. He wants to tunnel. Why are you tunnel? Okay. Why are you trying to go through there? Okay, so the base we have now is almost nothing like the previous one. Nothing like I just had, it's got a number of changes here. So for one, I uh, decided that, well they decided that they don't want to jump across here. So I made this uh, sort of a weird shape here because they will tend to run over and sometimes fall down and sometimes not. But at least they have a path across. I've also raised this whole area one just to make it a little bit easier to bash them here. I decided to go, that uh, going up and down the stairs was pointless because it just wasted stamina. So let's just keep on one flat level here. I also made sure that now we do have the barbed wire on all sides as well. That seems to be no issue. It seemed to be that they couldn't get across here. And uh, well, that was one of the big problems. Let's see if we can bring in some friends and showcase how the new improved base, me melee, circle base, whatever works. Okay, let's do a zombie here. All right. Okay, come on. Yes. Show off. Show what you want to do. Yes. So this one goes down here. It's going to come up here. Yes. Show what you got. Yes. Exactly. So now they want to slowly make their way across. Now, of course, this is because they're not feral. These are just the normal ones. So, uh, these ones we want to just get rid of. And uh, if you stand too close here, they obviously decide that they can beat you, so they will start swinging at you. So, 
you don't want to stand there the whole time. You can go up and beat them and then you move back. Okay. So let's uh, let's get some more interesting ones. Let's do this one. Uh, bike of feral. Bike of feral. Let's get it. Uh, zombie. Okay, bow feral. Okay. Because they run a little bit faster. And let's get one here as well. Bow feral and a darling feral. Okay. Uh, so they just run faster. So he's like, yep, I can do this. And you can stand here. You can bash them. And as the new one comes in, you can bash them as well. If you kill them, obviously, they will be replenished with the new one if it's a Blood Lord Horde. Oh, and the good thing is that you can actually loot them as well. That's one of the good things I like about this base. The final base. Okay, let's leave him. So he's going to try to get across here. And sometimes he will make it and sometimes he won't. If he doesn't, he will run back again. Yay. See, this is what we wanted to see. Um, I wonder if it's because they changed the, um, how the AI works when there's a fall. That they decided that, nope, this is not the way I want to go. I want to bash my way through instead. It's a little bit different, I think, when you have a tall ramp and everything. But here. All right, so let's see if this uh, feral Marlene. Where's that Darlene? What's her name? Nope, she couldn't make it. So she runs down and she goes up again. And look at her. Yep, she's gone. Okay, so this is how we want it to work. And um, so our game stage is now... Game stage is now 490. Okay, yes, yes, yes. And come on. And he's toast. Okay. So I, I don't have enough reach here. Oh, why am I doing that? So if you're really close, he does decide that he wants to have a piece of you. If not, he doesn't. So you have to learn how to time that. Okay, now it's burning, which is good. Okay, let's uh, let's change the time here a little bit. At day 28, so it should be a Blood Moon Hall. Let's uh, get up to a Blood Moon Hall here, finally. After all this trouble. Okay. Oh, it's nicely on fire. It looks good. And now we have some... What the... Oh, there are cops. Okay, I was like, why do I see these weird circles? Right. Whoa. Okay, so these are... It's not spider-proof, as you can see. That wasn't the main design here. So they just jump across, but you see these ones, you can take care and you can bash them. And you can bash him as well. Look at this. Bam! He did break my leg. And I break his head. Okay, let me get a splint here. Or a few maybe. Okay, so this is a fairly uh, high horde. But... Uh, Oh, it's not too bad. If you just have some healing and everything, of course you have to worry about the cop spitting. Oh, he's stuck there. Nice. And this one is good. Okay. And do this. And See, one of the downsides is that if they spit, it's usually the cops that spit and they will take out the barbed wire. I see they fell down here. Uh, the barbed wire is not strictly necessary, as you can see. It helps slow them down, but uh, if they don't make it across, it doesn't really matter as much. See, because they run here and they fall down. And bam, out of stamina. Oh. Uh, next, didn't I use this one? Oh, okay, so maybe it's just splinted. So you can stand there, fight. You can take care of them. Bash them. I'm infected. Oh, that's not very nice. So you probably want to do something about the, the cops. For instance, you can make the outer one uh, solid. 
If you make the outer one solid, they won't be able to spit at you. Now you might be wondering, well, what happens once your all the barbed wire are, is depleted? And that's a good question. And uh, it's actually not a huge deal. Um, they will just keep running around here. Now what you have more of a problem is, uh, because of all these high level cops, um, this is not, this is just normal concrete. So it's not reinforced or anything, which means that when he spits and everything, he might be breaking it. Let's see if we get a nail gun, nail gun. And we get some, get some concrete. Mix. And of course you can do this and reinforce concrete is probably the better choice. So that this doesn't happen. And if I was doing this again, I would definitely uh, block off the outside for vision. Because that would keep the, the cops from spitting at me the whole time. But those are probably the most troublesome that you have here. Uh, the normal zombies, as you can see, they don't really do very much. Oh, you do knock them down, but... Alright. He's gonna spit at me. Nope, okay. See, they don't make it across. So that's not an issue. I think, I see you spit again. Or vomited rather. So that's really the main danger here. So if you just uh, block that off, we get rid of these ones. Then it's less of an issue. Let's assume we didn't have any of these ones. Vomiting. Then you can just happily stand here and take your time. Oh, I think he's broken something. Oh no. Yeah, let's see, the vomit took care of this one. That's one of the downside with this. The, the spitters. Let's get this one up. Yep, and I think that. Yeah, now they'll go again. And sometimes they do make it. Yeah, make it through. And of course, bad things can happen. Oh, it's because I put it, no, I didn't put it wrongly. Let me see if I had some first aid. So I can heal myself. All right. So the design is not foolproof as you can see. All right, oh, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now they decide that this is a better place to get to. And let's see if we can. All that spitting does take its toll. So you definitely want to find a way to avoid that. Alright. Like for these ones. And I think now we should be pretty alright. Alright, let's see how things go here. They run around and run down. Okay. Yes, they do. Okay. I think what you see happening, we still have that bug where uh, we still have that bug. And uh, let me pause the AI. Uh, as you can see, uh, sometimes the zombies will fall down here. Okay, this is the wrong way. It's not the way we want it. All right, let's do this. Let's turn it the right way. This way. So sometimes the zombies will fall down here, as you saw. And then they'll bash in the middle of the air. And they'll still manage to hit this one because of the bug that is uh, they haven't fixed yet. So that's why you saw that one breaking. Um, you can change that up by, let's say, let's do this. Pillar. Let's do... Uh, let's not do this one. Let's do... Okay. If you do 50 pillar, you can do that as well. Uh, let's break this one. Okay. If you do 50 pillar, you also can have them fall down. And because it's you have more of them, they are less likely that they're going to break all and fail their pathing check. It is potentially a high risk that they run past, though. Okay. Let's see. Nope, you still fell down. So the same general idea still works. You see another one comes here. And it goes around and 
This one made it through, and you can just bash them. See if any more makes it through. Nope. Occasional ones will. I like this one. Bam. Because I'm losing all this. Because I'm infected and everything. So you have to be careful about that one. If I was going to redo this one, I would probably... I would probably make this one wider. I would make it such that there are maybe... 8 or 9 or 10 uh, pillars here. Uh, because then the risk of them getting across is a lot smaller. Oh, that's a pretty good find, actually. And uh, then the risk of them getting across is smaller, which means they will fall down and they'll repeat this whole thing. Because that's ultimately what you want them to do. You want them to repeat. You want them to go round and round and round while you have your chance to basically just bash them in the face. And as long as they never make it in, you're safe. So um, I'm not going to make that change just now. But that's something that I'll uh, consider doing for a future version of this base. Of making this one wider, maybe a little bit deeper. So that they have tempt to run across and that they will never make it. But that you can stand here and bash them. I would probably also block that off entirely for vision. Maybe consider having uh, iron bars on top for the dumb vultures. Because I think that would really work a lot better. And of course you don't want to have just normal concrete if you're going to have a late horde. It doesn't work very well. But anyway, this is the concept of having another melee base. It's not entirely easy with the change in the AI. So this is the second approach I've taken. I'm considering others and how to fix this one. So we could be sitting back and just letting high rams or traps kill them. But sometimes we want to be a bit more active and not just by burning through hundreds of rounds of ammunition. So this is one way of doing it. It works all right for I think with low level hordes. For higher level ones, I think it needs improvement by having more ramps so that they definitely fall through. Upgrade to have reinforced concrete, um, that would be much better. Uh, possibly have a large area so you have more time to bash them because once the barbed wire is broken, well, that uh, means that they don't get slowed down and block off for the, the cops so they don't keep on spitting because they spit and destroy a lot of the barbed wire as well as, oops, and they also destroy some of these poles so that eventually it will fail. I would definitely also put on a, a cage, cage top, cage top, bird's nest, a bird cage so that the vultures wouldn't take me. That would help as well. But that's part of the fun to try different concepts and sometimes they don't work and you prove them and then you try it again. Doesn't work perfectly and try them again and again and again. And uh, hopefully we end up with something that works really well in the end. But that's all for today. I'll see you again next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.